Oh. Tax credits, what we do with tax credits is within affordable housing, the federal government wants to incentivize development. And so they, they hand out tax credits every year to each state. And then the state housing agency has the authority to then allocate it towards affordable housing projects to help incentivize affordable housing development. And so if our project were to get awarded credits, then we get usually 40% of our construction costs are covered by the credits. And we don't actually use the credits themselves to pay for the development. We, we go out on the market uh, and there are buyers for credits. So you think about there's, there's all these big national banks or even regional banks that all have annual tax liability and they're actually required to buy these credits. So it kind of is a, is a double, you know, it, it, it hits two, uh, two needs for the banks and it hits the need for they actually need to buy these credits. And then the second one is that it actually offsets dollar for dollar any tax liability that they have on the bank. And so if you look at it from the bank's perspective, as long as they're technically paying less than a dollar, then they're already getting a return on their investment. Because if they pay 90 cents per credit dollar, they're getting a 10% yield on that credit. Now, on top of the credit, they're also getting all the losses and depreciation. So their, their total return is actually higher than that. Um, but the, the benefit to this is that we can take the credit. And then as soon as we get that award, that's worth 40% of our development in cash. Wow. That, that's all we need to give the investor is all they want is the credits, the losses, and the depreciation. They don't want any of the upside. It's not like your typical uh, any any sort of real estate investment, you literally look at you look at cash flow and you look at appreciation uh, and you look at losses as well. But that's kind of the third bucket. The main two you look at as appreciation and cash flow. Well, we as the owner and operator and the general partner, we actually get to keep all of that the appreciation and cash flow. They just want the credits, losses, and appreciation. So that's the beautiful thing is they don't want any of the upside. They just want the downside. And uh, that helps fill 40% of our project. So it's not for you as the individual or you as the one putting the deal together. It's for you to go out and sell to the market and get cash in return. That's awesome. Because I mean, in you doing these different projects, these affordable housing projects, you're just getting the tax credits as a nature of this project because it's a benefit to the community, correct? Right. Right. 